Good day, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our ATH YouTube formation. This is Father Francis Tikiya, Happy Asia Spiritual Director. May 1 was established as the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker by Pope Pius XII in 1955. The date was chosen to coincide with the date on which Labor Day is observed in many countries, thus to elevate and sanctify the observance. Work must be sanctified. The work of the fathers in providing the needs for his family is indeed very important. However, aside from being a father provider, his duty of being present physically in the homes is equally important. Devotion to St. Joseph is very, very important in the church. He is the universal protector of the church. We need him first and foremost to protect the family. For if the family is broken and destroyed, our world will likewise be destroyed. Isidore of Isolanis, a pious Dominican of the 16th century, prophesied that the sound of victory will be heard in the church militant when the faithful recognize the sanctity of St. Joseph. He continues, The Lord will let His light shine. He will lift the veil and great men will search out the interior gifts of God that are hidden in St. Joseph. They'll find in him a priceless treasure, the like of which they had never found in other saints of the Old Testament. We are inclined to believe that toward the end of time, God will overwhelm St. Joseph with glorious honors. If in the past ages, during the storms of persecution, these honors could not be shown to St. Joseph. We must conclude that they have been reserved for later times. Today, the family is under attack. Sister Lucia of Fatima wrote to Cardinal Cafara that the devil is waging war in the level of the family. If Satan is able to destroy the family, he can destroy the world. The basic unit of the society is the family. Hence, we must secure and protect the family. Every family must be a holy family. In the family, there is a need for father figure. The children, especially boys as they grow up, needs a father to guide them and to lead towards maturity into manhood. Absent fathers create a vacuum in the family. There has to be a father figure, otherwise the psyche of the child will be somehow incomplete and can even be totally destroyed. Saint Joseph is a model father to all. He was Jesus' guide and model in manhood and masculinity. The human virtues of our Lord were obviously nurtured by St. Joseph. It was St. Joseph who helped develop Christ's human virtues. And together with Our Lady, they helped our Lord grow in human strength. Luke 2.52 And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. Why are there broken families, we may ask? One of the main reasons is that there is no more father figure in the family. There is no one to guide and discipline the children. The Bible tells us, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Ephesians 6.1 But there are no more parents to obey in the first place. Familiaris Consortium of St. John Paul II an apostolic exhortation on the meaning of fellowship of the family tells us the family's mission corresponds to its nature. It is called to become ever more a community of life and love. But how can family be a community of life and love if the father is absent? 
number 18 of that same document says that the fundamental communion is that of husband and wife. As husband and father, the man should love his wife and children and appreciate his role in the family. Number 25 of Pabellaris Consortium. Parents have the first right and duty to educate their children. Parents must educate their children in the essential values of life, justice, but above all, love, in particular as regards sexuality, in which it pertains especially to parents to educate their children. Parents must check what their children are learning from schools because many times, the sexuality that is taught to them is promiscuity and sensuality leading at times to homosexuality. The sacrament of marriage makes parents' education of their children a true ministry of the church. The family is the first school of following Christ. And here, father's role is very important. They have to teach their children in following the Lord. All are called to follow Jesus, the author and giver of life. We need fathers and mothers to be present in the family. There is now a crying need for the father's presence in the house. Families will become intact and strong if father's presence is always available. Saint Joseph will teach us the importance of father figure in the family. He never left Jesus and Mary even for an instant. He's always there for the holy family. God bestows upon him a power equal to his dignity as fitting reward for his sanctity. Jesus and Mary not only bent their wills to Joseph's, for he was head of the Holy Family, but they lovingly surrendered their hearts to him as well. He had the right over all the riches of his son, and these were the treasures of the divinity. He had the right too over the goods of his spouse, who was richer far than all the saints together. In heaven, the sovereign of angels and men still calls St. Joseph Father, while Mary, the queen of heaven and earth, calls him her spouse and honors him as such. In the words of St. Thomas Aquinas, doctor of the church, he said, Some saints are privileged to extend to us their patronage with particular efficacy in certain needs, but not in others. But our holy patron, St. Joseph, has the power to assist us in all cases, in every necessity, in every undertaking. Saint Joseph deserves to be imitated in his love for Jesus and Mary. He was placed into their lives by an all-wise providence and lived up to God's expectations by giving them his deepest attention and care. We need the protection and example of Saint Joseph now. Why? Well, this is what is happening in the world, as Patrick Warren mentioned during the World Family Day celebration. Materialism is idolized. Immorality is glamorized. Sin is normalized. Divorce is rationalized. Abortion is legalized. Crime is sensationalized. Drugs are legalized. Truth is minimized. Education is secularized. Sex is trivialized. Bible is fictionalized. The sick are euthanized, manners are uncivilized, speech is vulgarized, children are tranquilized, Christians are demoralized, organizations in the church are disorganized, witnesses compromised, and everything is commercialized. Brothers and sisters, we need to normalize the situation in the family. We need to bring back fathers in the home. Husbands, fathers, be there in your home. Don't be absent. Be present for your wife, for your children. Be the leader of the family in prayer and in receiving the sacraments, like St. Joseph, the leader of the Holy Family. And so, brothers and sisters, may St. Joseph, whose feast we celebrate today, help all fathers to be available and accessible in the family. Devotion to St. Joseph will normalize and stabilize holiness in the family. Let's all be devoted to St. Joseph. God bless you.